when we allude to people as an invasion, as an infestation, we are directly, we are directly pulling from the language of white supremacy. Directly pulling from the language of white supremacy. So I don't want to hear the question, is this president racist anymore? He is. What I have to say to the young men and increasingly some of the young women in this country that are falling into the grips of white supremacy, that find themselves getting radicalized in a funnel of vitriol towards Latinos, towards immigrants, towards African Americans, towards all people black, towards all people Jewish, towards all people of different faiths, what I have to say to you is come back because there is a mother waiting for you. I know it. I know there's a teacher waiting for you saying, what happened to my kid? What happened to my friend? And we will always be here and hold space for you to come back. We will love you back. You are not too far gone. And I know that this society is isolating. I know that this society creates depression. I know the lack of opportunity here from Brownsville to, to El Paso. Because Jumani's right, all of us is right. This is not just about assault weapons. This is about gun violence in all of our communities. So whether it's from misogyny or whether it's from racism, you're not more of a man with a gun. You're not more of a man if you are capable of violence. You are not stronger if you tear another life down. We have to make sure we address that in our culture. Fixing this is about fixing the laws, but it's about addressing our culture. We're going to have to go deep. We need to go deep because it's not just those that have succumbed to hate that have to change. We need to learn to love bigger to bring them back.